Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we will gonna discuss how to enable CORS, basically cross origin resource sharing in GeoServer. So basically, when we develop any web GIS application, so we use some kind of GIS server to serve the geographic data, basically GIS data onto the web. So the most uh, famous open source uh, is basically GIS server is GeoServer. So in my earlier video, I have uh, basically I have shown how to use GeoServer for putting the data onto the WebGIS application. So in the comment section also, I received a lot of comments about this error. They are facing CORS error. So in this video, I'll show you how to enable CORS. So you can you can basically send the request to the GeoServer, like get request or post request, and you can get, get the data from the GeoServer onto the web. So I'll be showing you like in both the cases because if you see if you go on the geo server download page you can you can download two kind of uh, geo server one is web archive var file and another one is platform independent binary so web archive is basically var file so you can deploy the var file inside the tomcat so the one i used in my earlier video i have shown how to deploy the geo server into the tomcat and second one is the platform independent binary so you can directly download it and you can just you can just unzip it any in any folder inside your machine and then you can start running the geo server so in both the cases i will show you how to enable cors in both the cases so in my videos basically what i have done i have used the geo server inside the tomcat and i have also put my application inside the tomcat so i never faced this problem because my application and geo server were both in the same container tomcat so i never faced this problem but People are using some other kind of web server such as XAMPP, basically Apache and Geo server is separately installed. So they are facing this problem. So like if you see this page right now, there are two layers. One is this population. This is WMS layer. So it is not creating any problem because it is simple images request. This is WMS request. So JPEG files are coming, a PNG or image files are entering onto the web. But this WFS layer is basically get kind of get request is there. So we are sending the get request to the geo server and then uh, geo server is sending the uh, dat data. So in this case, if I, this layer is not visible, WFS. So if you right click and go to the inspect, you can see here, this, this is the error. XML request at this, we are sending this URL, basically this request to get the feature of this like top, top population and output format JSON. So it is showing that this uh, the request has been blocked by CORS policy so we are facing this problem so what we have to do we have to enable CORS in the geo server so there are two cases in first case I'll show you if you have deployed the geo server in the tomcat so how to enable that so if you have uh, deployed inside the geo uh, basically tomcat so you, what you have to do there are two ways to do it either you, you have to change the web.xml file Either you change the web.xml file of the geo server inside the Tomcat or you can directly change the web.xml web file of Tomcat. Both ways it will work. I'll show you the both ways. Like first is you go into the your Apache Tomcat folder. Then there is an option called uh, there will be a conf folder. There is a web.xml. So one way is to do that. So what I will do basically first I will stop because I have you have, after changing the web.xml you have to restart the geo server you, you have to restart the tomcat basically because your geo server inside the tomcat so I will stop the tomcat first and then you have to go inside the tomcat then see you in a folder then web.xml just edit with any text editor and these are the lines you have to copy paste anywhere so these line I will put in the description so you can use it so just copy this and paste it anywhere in the so let me paste it somewhere i will paste it here and just save this web.xml file so now you just restart your tomcat so now we will restart the tomcat so now our tomcat service has been started and we have a geo server so we have just copied the geo server var file in, into the uh, 
it was just copied inside the tomcat so this is our geo server so now we will see i we will refresh that this web page so now uh, we should be able to load the wfs layer so now as now you will be able to see there is no error here earlier and we are able to see this layer so these are the wfs feature basically so if i toggle editing i will be able to select the feature i will be able to get the information and even if i will create any feature i should be able to create so when i when we create the feature so we are sending the post request to the geo server so we will be able to do do that also like if i save it so there is no error i think that the feature will be saved inside the geo server so feature saved successfully so now if you zoom in zoom out if you check this also this feature has been created you can further modify it you can delete it so basically now we are able to access the so we are able to delete the feature also so now you can see feature has been deleted so basically now my application is inside the basically apache i have installed the xamp so my application is in the apache and my geo server inside the tomcat in the different basically container so both application and geo server are in different container but i am able to fetch the data i am able to get the response from the geo server without any error so like that you have to change uh, you have to add this piece of line inside the tomcat so this is the one way of doing it there is another way of doing it also let me show you that also i will stop this again because i will change the web.xml of now i will remove this line from here you can use this uh, this way also but uh, there is another way also i'll show you how to do that so you will go inside the tomcat folder this is our auto tomcat then web apps then geo server folder so either you change the web.xml of the uh, tomcat so that we have changed so it worked another way is do not change the uh, xml of the basically uh, web.xml of the tomcat just directly change the geo server so go inside the geo server folder web.inf inf there is web.xml just add it with the notepad and here what you have to do you have to find you have to just you, you do, do not need to add anything you have to just uncomment few of the line like this these are the lines so as you have to see it is written uncomment following filter to enable CORS in jetty so we are not using jetty container we are using tomcat so we have to just go below you have to uncomment this line at 193 uncomment following filter to enable CRS in tomcat do not forget the second so one thing you delete this line you uncomment this and uh, so like we are using tomcat that's why i'm just uncommenting of the tomcat if you uncomment this also then it will not work so you have to uncomment this only where tomcat was written and below this also you two three lines you have to uncomment this uncomment the following filter to enable CRS this line also you have to uncomment and just save this web.xml so now th this time also we should be able to and again start your tomcat so i will basically i will close this yeah so let geo server start first then we will refresh our page yeah geo server has been started uh, tomcat has been started so now we will refresh our page so we'll see whether we are able to uh, get the data or not so now you can see we are able to successfully load the data wfs data as you can see this is the wfs layer we are able to i will again refresh it quickly so there is inside the inspect console we are not able to see any error so again we can i think draw and create and every request we will be able to send to the geo server post request so 
the feature saved successfully so now you can see there is a feature has been created so if you want this web page already i have uploaded one video regarding feature editing on the web gis using geo server so you can get this html in the description of that video so now we have seen okay if you have installed the geo server uh, inside the tomcat you have deployed the var file inside the tomcat how to do that basically either you can modify the web.xml of inside the geo server you have to uncomment few lines as i have shown and either you can add the web.xml of the tomcat and you have to add these few lines so i will give these lines in the description of the video so this is the one scenario in other case if you have installed the basically in a platform independent binary so you have to just unzip uh, unzip that binary inside any folder so like i have created one folder inside the program file geo server and i have unzipped it here so in that case what you have to do i'll show you like uh, there is one more application like this one writing.5 so if i inspect this will be there is there will be an error as you can see xml request at this 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 has been blocked by crs again it has been blocked so this request is coming from that geo server which i have shown you this binary i have installed as a platform independent binary so in this in this case what you have to do like you have to go inside the web apps and geo server web inf and web.xml so here what you have to do so if you basically um, install this this uh, platform independent binary so it it is basically using jetty as a container so in that case what you have to do you have to uncomment the lines which which is written for the jetty uh, let me show you this like in the tomcat case we have uncommented these lines where it is written to enable in tomcat so we will not uncomment this we will uncomment this line uncomment following filter to enable course in jetty do not forget the second config block further down so when it is saying you just uncomment these block of line and just let these lines like this only for tomcat and this we have to uncomment again so just save it so now we should be able to we have to again restart our geo server so for starting the uh, geo server what we have to do we have to go inside the bin uh, let me shut down first okay sorry sorry and now we have to start the geo server again So in that case, like my geo server has been started, I think. Now we will see whether we are able to load the feature or not. So as you can see now, we are able to load the layer. This is our layer. And I think we will be able to get the information of this yes so there is error is that course error has gone now even i can get, i think i will be able to create the features let me try whether we are able to send the post request to the feed to the geo server let me check it okay yes i think we are able to yes the feature has been created and also inside the wms you'll be able to see so now we are able to uh, get the, get the response from the uh, geo server so like this in both the cases like if you if you basically put your application inside the tomcat no need to do anything you will, you will not face any this kind of error but if you are uh, putting your application inside some other container such as another server such as apache web server and your geo server is in tomcat or it is outside basically that domain outside that container then you will face this crs problem then you have to enable crs so this is how you can do it so i think that's it because in the in my earlier videos i got a lot of comments regarding this error so individually i tried to reply to them still they were not able to resolve the problem 
so i thought maybe i'll make a video on this so i hope this video will um, help so please uh, share this video to the friends and colleagues and please give a thumbs up to this video and please subscribe the channel thank you thanks for watching this video